night of April 12, 2002, Abdul Halim Abdul Rahman, a KLIA limousine driver, lost his wife and five of his children to a fire disaster at kilometer 14 Jalan Kebun Baru, Sijinkan, Banting. Kira-kira pukul 11.00 malam, saya dapati rumah depan sekolah itu terbakar. Jadi saya terus ke sana, masuk ke dalam tuh tariklah budak-budak perempuan dengan adik dia. Tapi malangnya yang ke atas masih ada lima orang lagi. Anak dia panggil ibu, ibu, ibu. Tapi saya dah tak boleh buat apa lah, dah tak boleh nak tolong lagi lah pasal terlampau panas. Masalah yang kita hadapi pada semasa kita menghadir kebakaran ialah yang pertamanya keadaan jalan yang begitu sempit. Kawasan kebakaran tu dan kepala bomba yang agak jauh. Dan ketiga ialah uh, ketepatan maklumat yang kita terima. So, kita terpaksa mencari lokasi yang tepat menyebabkan masa agak uh, lewat untuk kita sampai tempat kejadian. Fires can be extremely destructive, dreadful and relentless. In 2001 alone, there were 15,419 reported cases of fire, causing damage and losses up to 584 million ringgit. 82 injuries have been officially registered, while the formal death toll was recorded at 62. Of this number, 74% of them happened in residential households. The toll of fire is way beyond loss of property and life. As the following interview indicates, being mentally tough and possessing strong religious beliefs, Mr. Halim declined to go back to the tragic scene for our TV interview. He just couldn't bear to be reminded of those horrible memories again. Saya lihat api sudah uh, marak ataupun api sudah kuat. So saya tidak dapat berbuat apa-apa kerana saya terpaksa menunggu pihak bomba dan polis. Kebetulan adik saya yang dah jadi dua, dia tidur betul-betul tepi pintu. Saya jerit kat dia suruh buka pintu tu, dia buka dan dia lari waktu tu. Saya tengok dia keluar, saya pun tak tak tahu nak fikir apa. The sad fact is most fires are due to human errors which could be totally prevented. Daripada sumber yang kita dapati bahawa kita percaya dan kita jangkakan bahawa kebakaran ini diakibatkan oleh penggunaan api lilin. The general awareness of the seriousness of domestic fires among Malaysians is dangerously low. Just ask yourself these simple questions. Have you and your family members ever discussed what to do in case of fire? Have you mapped out an escape route out of the house during an emergency? Do you know the phone number and address of the local bomber station in your residential area? Do you know the three-digit number that connects you directly to Jabatan Bomber's emergency rescue unit? Is your home adequately equipped with simple devices like a smoke detector, torchlight and portable fire extinguisher? Actually, how fire kills? In fact, only about one-fourth of home fire victims die from burns. Uh, the rest die from inhaling poisonous gases found in smoke or from lack of oxygen. Like humans, a fire requires oxygen to thrive and grow. During a fire, a huge amount of oxygen from the air will be heavily consumed, replacing it with uninhalable fumes. Fortunately, being light in nature, the fumes from a fire have a tendency to occupy the upper part of a constrained chamber. Therefore, the most suitable way to escape a fire is to crawl instead of running in an upright position. This can only be applied in a situation where the smoke is extremely dense and the threat of explosion is not within striking distance. Bear in mind that to panic and behave irrationally are part of human nature. To get out of the fire in the safest manner is usually not as simple as you think. It requires careful preliminary planning. Draw a detailed floor plan of your house. Show at least two escape routes, one main and one alternative for each occupied room. Make good use of windows as emergency exits or as openings for fresh air and assistance. If you have to fix a grill, Make sure it can be opened from inside when necessary. Make sure that everybody knows where to put important keys and that they are always in the same place when they are not in use. Practice emergency fire drills over consistent intervals. These drills are not only essential during times of trouble, they are also very healthy for close, fruitful family rapport. And the first thing is that uh 
to make sure that we must have at least one uh, portable fire extinguishers as what we have here. Uh, at least one fire extinguishers uh, that may uh, save our life. And of course, this fire extinguishers also is uh, in accordance to the uh, voluntary firefighters fund. Most people have a major misconception about portable fire extinguishers such as this one. They all think that it is only capable of putting out small fires. Actually, it is specially designed to extinguish relatively large fires. It is very easy to operate. All of the voluntary participants here were first-time users during this demo. None of them experienced any difficulties and all of them achieved a 100% success rate right from the very first trial with minimum instructions. When you purchase a portable fire extinguisher, make sure that it is a multi-purpose extinguisher. Suitable to take care of fires that range from multiple derivations. Also, make sure that its propellant is of the nitrogen type and its extinguishing agent is of the dry powder type. This is to ensure that when the extinguisher is used in cars or boats, the risk of leakage and explosion due to prolonged exposure to sunlight can be minimized. Last but not least is a point related to using such devices to putting off cooking oil fires. Contrary to popular belief, pouring water is not always the perfect solution for all fires. Actually, pouring water to oil-based liquid can cause a fire to grow even bigger. The proper method? Aim a dry powdered multi-purpose extinguisher over the fire. Make sure there is an approximately 2 meter gap between the fire and the extinguisher. And press. Besides a portable fire extinguisher, equip your home with at least one of the following items. Torchlight. Electricity supply is usually cut off during a fire. A torchlight becomes extremely handy under such circumstances. It is advisable to select one that will switch on automatically once it is pulled off from its holder. First aid kit. Pick one that is compact enough to be carried along, but make sure that it is well equipped with antiseptics that can treat wounds caused by fire. Prevention is always better than cure. This is especially true in a case of a fire. Most fires occur when their victims are not aware of it. A smoke detector that emits an alarm tone such as this at the detection of smoke is extremely crucial. All the life-saving apparatus mentioned have predefined periods of effectiveness. Please perform regular checks and pay attention to expiration dates. Other important safety tips include not overloading your electric circuits or performing unprofessional modifications to your electronic appliances. Careless smoking habits are one of the leading factors that contribute to a fire. If you really need to smoke, exercise precaution. Use of high-risk illuminating alternatives such as candles or kerosene lamps is another leading cause of fire. Do not leave them unattended to. The three-digit number of Jabatan Bomber's emergency hotline is 994. For faster response, try to locate the address and the telephone number of the bomber stations near you. Keep this important number near your phone. Saya minta anak saya join with me to bagi explanation to masyarakat about this all supaya mereka sama-sama dapat mengelak perkara yang sebegini jangan jadi berlaku lagi. Api itu kecil memang menjadi kawan kalau ada sesuatu menjadi lawan kan. All individuals uh, is encouraged to pick up some basic technique uh, in protecting themselves and and the household. Uh, and in this also will reflect our slogan that is uh, keselamatan keluarga, kesejahteraan negara. And uh, of course this will uh, uh, bring the people together in the safer world.